Well, the Boise Hawks are just a few hours away from the first pitch in their season home opener. It's a great evening for a great event. But Roland Stedham is live at Memorial Stadium with a look at how our weather's going to be changing here pretty quick. Roland? Buddy, can't you just imagine coming here tonight for the opening game and you got this weather and you got a nice cold soda or a nice cold beer, whatever the case may be, and one of those hot dogs and you're just sitting back relaxing and listening as the boys of summer get out and start doing their thing. I mean, it's just an absolutely perfect evening. Uh, I got with me right now is Blaine McCormick and you guys in the control room, as soon as we establish uh, young Blaine here, go ahead and go to the drone <laughs> because we want to talk about some really cool stuff. What's new? The field, Blaine, looks absolutely phenomenal. It really does and it looks so good. The green grass, the clay dirt, it's just a phenomenal scene. We actually have a new groundskeeper here uh, with the Boise Hawks. His name is John Guides. He's a new hire and just a tremendous job. He said that, you know, Dave Matthews brought him out to the Northwest because he saw him in concert and he uh -huh. loved the area. And he's a great guy. If you ever come out to a Hawks game and see him raking, definitely, okay. definitely so he talk takes, to him. He takes it personally. Yes. What else can are we looking forward to as we see the Hawks play this year? A lot of great players. The Rockies' second round draft pick, Aaron Shunk, is here as well. Okay. Uh, he was drafted in the second round out of the University of Georgia. And he actually won the Olerud Award, which is awarded to the best two-way player in college. Baseball. So not only was a, he a great hitter, but also the team's closer at Georgia. So oh. he's going to be a fantastic prospect to awesome. watch. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. Well, Blaine, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Of course. Looking forward to the ba the first pitch this evening at 715. We got that stem action drone that's already been up. I want to show you what the temperature readings are doing across the region, guys, because this weather is absolutely perfect for baseball this evening. Now, the temperatures are going to gradually peak out here at about 5.30 to 6 o'clock, then things are going to start cooling off gradually. But I mean, there is not a cloud in the sky. So if you come to the game, please be sure and bring a baseball cap and sunblock and sunglasses because don't forget, sun doesn't go down until almost 9.30 at night. So the temperature readings there, you can see 80s to 90s throughout the region. Satellite imagery, I want to show you what's going on. We do have thunderstorms out over the central mountains. Those thunderstorms, not a concern for us here in the Treasure Valley. We are going to enjoy this blue sky scenario here all evening. In fact, I think it's going to be dry for quite some time. And you'll note on that satellite imagery in the upper left hand portion of the screen, that is the next weather maker that's headed this way. It's a fairly strong cold front and wait till you see what it does to our temperatures. In fact, let's go right to the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley tomorrow. Sunny with a high of 88 degrees. On Wednesday, we start backing off those temperatures a little bit as that front approaches sunny and 80 degrees. Then on Thursday, how do we get with sunny skies and temperatures down to 70 degrees? It's going to be a dry front for the Treasure Valley. All it is is a mechanism that's going to pump cool air into the region. And yes, you're not mistaken there, sunny skies with a high of 69 degrees on Friday. And the weekend is looking mostly dry with temperatures slowly warming back up into the upper 70s. And then up in the mountains, you can see that uh, in the, uh, excuse me, up in the Long Valley, we'll see temperature readings tomorrow, 77 degrees. Sunny to partly cloudy skies this week up in the high country. But on Thursday, temperatures will drop all the way down to 56 degrees on Friday, about 58. And this weekend, sunny to partly cloudy skies and will warm temperatures back up in, in the mid 60s. So that is a significant cooling trend. We're going to be seeing temperature readings drop here about 15 degrees or so between tomorrow to what we're going to be seeing on Thursday and Friday. Very nice cool weather. No rain in the seven day forecast for us here in the Treasure Valley. Other than that, it's just a perfect evening for baseball once again. So I think we're going to continue to see this uh, pattern here. Brent, I'll tell you, uh, I was looking at the long range models and it looks like we're going to be fluctuating between really warm to nice pleasant temperature readings but it is just going to stay dry here for quite some time and as far as the folks here on the field are concerned that sounds just about right to them.